Welcome to What We're Catching 360. My name is Mike. I was invited um, by Chris. Now Chris is a guy that I met on Facebook. He asked a question on one of the uh, Facebook uh, pages and I answered it and him and I got chatting and here I am. So Chris uh, and all his friends they are from uh, the family Christian Church so they did invite me along really cool day so far my first time back at the vol dam um, since it's come up so much so that's pretty cool the wind is howling hence i'm sitting in the car doing this or else you're not gonna hear anything however a lot of small fish but when i say a lot a lot so you might not hear <laughs> everything that's going on but you guys will certainly see it and um, guys thank you very much again for those of you that are subscribed and joined i do appreciate it and uh, let's go catch some more fish. So I've been casting consistently at that point over there, that little tree, that's my end point. I've been casting there consistently throughout the day. Created a little feeding spot and that seems to have brought the fish in so quite good. nicely. So we're going to continue doing that for the day and see where we end up. And after waiting all morning, Uncle Thew is finally in with the fish. And obviously Chris just standing around giving instructions. Right, let's go see what has been caught. Looks like something fairly decent. <laughs> Check that man. First carp I've seen today. Yeah, that's fine, so on the bottom up, we're going to put one garlic floaty. We're going to do the exact same with the top up, one garlic floaty on there as well. Except this one, I'm going to hook that back into the ball. Then I'm going to add some yellow garlic dough to my bottom hook. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to hook that back into the ball as well. Right, so I'm going to top that off with a fair amount of chop chop. Add it with a little bit of trace on top. Then I'm going to reset my timer, cast it in, and let's see how long it takes to get the next fish. Okay, the left one's in, and the right rod, uh, there's a bit of a bite on there. So let's see what we've got. Looks like something decent, but uh, a couple of small fish have been coming out, so uh, yeah, let's see what this is. Oh, there we go, the waves of the Vol Dam has knocked my net over. But uh, let's bring this little fish in. And, uh, <laughs> right, are you guys ready to see this? Well, yeah, the small ones count as well. There he is. And we waited an hour for that fish. Right, let's do it again. So the left rod seems to uh, have a fish on again. That was a negative fight. So the policeman dropped into the water. So, uh, hey, let's see what we've got on this. Well, never mind. There goes the left one. Okay, we'll worry about this one first. And uh, well, let's see what we have here. Well, I can feel there's something on. So, uh, yeah, let's grab this fish. And there we go. Another little yellow fish. But we'll take it. Right, and just to show you guys, that yellowfish took 12 minutes and, uh, what is it, 15 seconds to bite. I'm going to do something different now. I'm going to take these plain yellow hard floaties. Um, I'm going to put them on the ball and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck this one in clean. Uh, no dips, just to change it up a little bit and see if we can't catch anything like this. plain yellow float as well on the bottom hook and then I'll just push that one back into the ball as well and then I reckon that's ready to go let's put it in ok 
uh, this fish took it uh, quite quickly. I didn't even set the timer, so I'm not sure how long it was. Um, but this was fairly quick. I think it was for about two, three minutes. And uh, we have a fish on. Let's hope this is something better. Let's go get him. Oh man, and it feels like we are stuck. There's obviously something in the water and we're stuck. Well, the only thing left to do is to grab your rod, hold it, walk straight back and uh, break. Okay, we've got something on the right rod. Right. Uh, let's bring it in. Hope it's something a bit better. Let's see what we got. And if by something better we mean another little yellow fish, well, then we've got something better. I suppose whatever bites, well, that's what we're going to catch. Okay, I'm going to change the combo a little bit. So I'm literally going to put a drop of Vix on top of that. Drop of uh, Luerty. This is a signature series Luerty. Quite like that. And then cast into the wind and try get the uh, get my spot. That's a nice little run. Let's see what we got. Oh, it feels small, but uh, yeah, let's have a look and see what it is. And what do you know? Another little yellow fish. I tell you what, the wind is pumping. Well, no time to waste. Uh, let's go get these lines back in the water. I've decided to fish with one hook. So, uh, garlic floaty on. And I'm going to put some garlic dough behind that. Like so, that I'm going to hook back into the ball as well. Okay, putting a little mix on the ball, topping that off with some lurti. And then let's take that, cast it in, try hit that same spot again, and catch another little yellow fish. Good times. So this looks like a negative bite. So what you do, reel it in until you feel some pressure, then lightly strike it. And it feels like we have something on here. Uh, let's reel it in and see if it's not a yellow fish this time. Well, look at that. Another little naff wire. Okay, going to cast it in again. Lure tea, Vicks on the ball. Garlic flow tea with uh, garlic dough. And if you guys can guess what a naff wire is, uh, comment below and uh, let's see who gets it. First, let's cast this in and try and catch another fish. Well, no luck for the rest of the day. That's what they call it fishing and not catching. Right, so we have come to the end of actually a really cool day. Unfortunately, uh, not a lot to show you. The wind did get the better of me and uh, well, that's just it. So, my host Chris, who invited me to come today and join them today, he's been fishing since yesterday. I haven't. So, uh, bragging rights is either going to go to him or I, and we're going to tally up and see who has the most fish. Don't know how that's going to end up. We'll see. Oh, there are some really nice fish in there. So, well done to Chris. Apparently, those are everyone's fish in there. In total, Chris and them have got 18 fish. The group got 18 fish. The group since yesterday. I do believe there could be about 18 fish in there, even though they are smaller. But a fish is a fish and it counts. So, uh, how do I not look smug? I got 19. <laughs> Oh, but guys, you know, that's what it's all about. Camaraderie, come out, come with your friends, make new friends. This is really what it's all about. The competition and all that. It's a fun side of it. Um, or rather the, the mockery side of it, shall I say. I enjoy it. It's fun. But guys, thank you very much again for watching. 
like I said, bring your friends, bring your family out, come bond, come do this. Um, you guys won't be sorry. But as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you again.